Hey there. I hope everybody's doing all right. I have another pre-World War II official Boy Scouts of America knife to share with you. This is another Remington. You know, Remington made uh, official Boy Scout knives from 1923 to 1939, right there between the World Wars. And uh, they made a lot of different knives because they made several different sizes. And then they also had shield changes and tool changes through the years. So over those 17 years, there's a lot of different varieties of Remington knives. Um, they did make fixed blade official Boy Scout of America knives, but interestingly, on the folded folding knife side, they only made the Scout utility pattern. They didn't make a two-bladed um, jackknife like some of the earlier makers, like New York Knife Company or Ulster made, and they didn't make any Whittlers like some of the other companies, Camillus, Imperial, etc., later made. So this is a, a Remington RS4233. It's a smaller knife. It's the smallest one they made, three and three eighths inches long. It's sometimes referred to as the Junior Scout. And so you could get Remington knives in three sizes. Uh, this is the Junior Scout, three and three eighths. Uh, also, you could get uh, this is the 4783. It's a three and a half inch model. It's a three bladed model. It has all the tools but the punch. That's also in the round shield there. And then the full size model was the 3333, which was three and three quarters inches. So all three sizes are represented there with the round shields. Uh, Remington's also came with uh, acorn shields. As a matter of fact, the very first version of this Junior Scout had an acorn shield. They started making this right away in 1923 and made different versions of it right up to 1939. Uh, the very first version, which I don't really have, but I, I do have an acorn shield to show you on this RS3333. But that's what the, the uh, first one looked like. They did not make any of these Junior Scouts with the cutout shield, which came next for a very short period of time that you see here on another RS-3333. But I do have another Junior Scout. It's not an official Boy Scout of America knife. It's a red, white, and blue flag knife. But I just wanted to show you that the very first versions of this with the acorn shield would have had pinched and lined bolsters. And the very first version had a one-piece can opener like this did. And uh, with a vertical cutout here that fed into a notch. You could also get the Acorn version with a Tillman's two-piece can opener with the vertical lift tab and a notch. So this is the RS4233 with the round shield. And it actually had two uh, versions. Um, the first had pinch and line bolsters and a um, vertical lift tab. It had the two-piece can opener, but it had a vertical lift tab and a notch there. It ran from 1929 to 1932. And then the version you're looking at here with smooth bolsters and this horizontal lift tab uh, ran from 1933 to 1939. But both of those versions with the, long, with the round shield had this very interesting long screwdriver cap lifter. Very long and slender. Uh, let me compare it to the earlier version. This red, white, and blue has the earlier stubby, stout cap lifter screwdriver. And you can see the difference in length, reach. Now this tool it definitely is uh, designed for smaller screws, has a lot more reach, uh, is a more delicate tool. So just to look at the rest of this knife, um, on the outside here we can see these beautiful jig bone handles. And those are referred to as Rogers bone handles. What that means is um, there was a company by the name of Rogers that made the bone covers for Remington at this time. So they did the jigging and they had their own unique jigging patterns. As you can see, it's just wonderful, I think, the jigging on these old knives it's just more hmm, intricate and random. It looks less machined or repetitive than a lot of newer knives. 
So this has a smooth nickel silver bolsters and a nickel silver bail with three lines, typical of some of these old Remington Scout knives. A nickel silver pins, three of them there you can see. A nickel silver shield that is pinned in place. It reads be prepared and has the Scout emblem there. And this one's in really good shape. You can see all the detail in it. This knife is in really great shape. It cleaned up really well. All these Junior Scouts had nickel silver liners. I just love that. I love an all nickel silver knife. And you can see here it also has a nickel silver spacer, which was coined at one time. If we can get it in the light here and look very carefully, you can still see those hatch marks. They're a little worn away, though. All right, so for the rest of the tools, we have the uh, two-piece Tillman's can opener, which was supposed to be stronger than the old one-piece can opener. Again, this one has the one-piece can opener. So let's just take a look at them side by side. Uh, there's the one-piece one there on the old red, white, and blue, and the two-piece Tillman's on the 4233. And you know, the one piece just looks to me to be a little thicker steel, but they said these were stronger, so it's interesting. This is marked. Uh, it does say Remington in script on the top portion there, and a patent number. I'll give you that on the screen because I don't have that memorized. All the tools have great snap. They're very uh, smooth and fluid on this knife. Here's the punch. It's nice and full. It's in really good shape. This knife cleaned up really well. Uh, seems to be a little bit of the original bluing there on the inside. They would blue those to keep that exposed part from corroding, I guess. And uh, here's the marking on the punch. It's in block letters, Remington, UMC, in a circle. And then finally the main blade. All of these Junior Scouts also had long nail pulls instead of the crescent nail pull you saw on the bigger. Um, the blades on these are very thin and slender. They're spear point blades, but they are very slender much more slender than, say, a full-size RS 3333. There you can see the difference. It is swedged. What I want to show you on this one is it has the etch. It has the full etch. I don't have uh, any other official Boy Scout knives from pre-World War II that have the full etch. I have a few that have the partial etch. But there we can see the full etch. And it says official knife Boy Scouts of America with the uh, emblem in the center there. So that's just great. Makes a knife uh, worth a bit more, I think. Um, someone did a very poor job of sharpening this once upon a time. I've come in and put a, uh, if I can light it up there, an edge in front of it, just to kind of clean up some ragged places and make it sharp. The tank stamp on this one is the Remington UMC in block letters in a circle with made in to the right and USA to the left. That's a tank stamp that's uh, given as from 1924 to 1933. And, you know, this round shield version of the 4233 was made from 1933 to 1939. So I would date this knife right around 1933. And um, while we're talking dates and age, let me just open this up and show you down inside because I think it's a really exceptional knife for 80-something years old. I 
there's those nickel silver liners and you can see the pin there for the badge or the shield so it is pinned on um, it's a good thing that it is because it's really proud and I guess they set them up high like that because there's really not a lot of bone cover to put them down in but it's securely in place let's close this back up just really good action for a knife this age particularly so there was a reproduction made of this knife in 2009 by Baron Sons they did a five-year program turned out to be four but they did reproductions in 2009 uh, 2010 this knife sort of 2011, 2012, and then in 2013 they had one ready to go, but they never got the contract for it. But I did find a picture of it, kind of an advertisement for it. So let me put that in here and you can take a look at it. So that's too bad that never came to market because that would have been really cool. What they did is they went back to the RS3333, the full size one, uh, with the very first acorn shield with pearl handles. Now there was a RS3333 with pearl handles, but it had a round shield. The acorn shield ones never had pearl handles. All of the Baron Sons reproductions every year, um, they're nice and it's a neat concept, but every single one of them has several things that are inaccurate. I don't know if that was intentional because there were reproductions and they didn't want to make them exactly like the originals, or they just didn't do their research. Uh, but this knife, for instance, let me just show you a picture of the reproduction. Okay, there you see that it has um, the acorn shield, so it would be like the very first one. Um, but it should have pinched and lined bolsters. Um, it should have three visible pins, not just one. And while they included this tool, which is great because it's a very unique screwdriver cap lifter, the uh, very first uh, acorn shield Remington knives never came with that screwdriver. They always came with the short stubby style. So anyway, uh, nice concept. There seems to be something off about each and every one of those. Okay, so that's been a look at the Remington RS4233, the Junior Scout, made by Remington from 19... 23 to 1939. This one in particular, 1933 to 1934, thereabouts. Um, here it is against uh, the 4783, which is three and a half inch, the 3333, which is three and a quarter. So you get the size comparison. Again, it, it did come with both the acorn shield and the round shield, uh, but it did not come with the cutout shield. And if you got an earlier version, you know, you're going to have pinched and lined bolsters like you see on this red, white, and blue scout knife. Uh, they all had nickel silver and um, long nail pulls. So just a little bit of Remington eye candy there on the table for you. I appreciate you watching, and as always, have fun collecting.